Dunedin is one of the driest of all major cities in New Zealand. Yet we depend on fresh water for survival every day. Where does this water come from and how does it get to our taps? The story begins over the hills and far away. Most of Dunedin's water comes from deep creek and deep stream high in the Lamalua and Lamamore ranges, far above the Tairu Plain, more than 60 kilometres from the centre of Dunedin. The vegetation here is mostly tussock. Tussock land is ideal as a municipal water supply catchment. Farming and forestry with the animal life and associated activities are not suited to the collection of rainwater, whereas Tussock country delivers rainwater virtually unchanged from the sky to the stream. The Dunedin City Council, in partnership with the Department of Conservation, have guaranteed the future quality of this raw water resource by purchasing the majority of the land that forms the catchment allowing full control of activities that may affect the raw water quality. This brownish but relatively clean water from the high ranges between Middlemarch and Mahinarangi is collected at two small remote dams, Deep Creek and Deep Stream. From each of these catchments, the water begins its journey to Dunedin City. Two separate pipelines, one from each source, wind through the river gorges, keeping height and water pressure as the rivers tumble away below. The terrain is difficult and rugged, and several natural obstacles are crossed by tunnels and bridges, all the time maintaining pressure in the natural fall towards Dunedin. The largest barrier is the Tairi River. Both pipelines cross the river in a remote part of the Tairi Gorge. Although the bridge is sound, it is the most vulnerable point in the system, with a natural slip at one end and a sheer bluff at the other. A catastrophe here would severely disrupt Dunedin's water supply. We now have our water in the city. The two pipelines eventually arrive here at Mount Grand. But its quality is not yet suitable to offer to the people of Dunedin. The first stage of treating the water is to pass it through a screen that catches twigs, leaves, grass and even fish which have made the long journey from the mountains. The water then passes through a structure called a parallel plate separator. The separator settles out silt and heavy material. The screened water goes straight into the plant for processing. But normally we get more water than we need on any one day. So the rest is piped into a large storage reservoir. This reservoir can hold enough water to supply Dunedin for around 10 days. If the quality of our raw water is poor, water can be pumped from the reservoir back into the plant for treatment. More importantly, if there was a major break in one of the supply pipelines, the reservoir would give us a buffer while it was fixed.
This reservoir's overflow can also supply the Southern Rural Water Reservoir to augment the supply to the Southern Water Treatment Plant. The main issue with the deep creek and deep stream water is the brownish colour from the peat swamp and tussock catchment and the amount of foreign matter that clouds the water. Simple filtration can remove dirt and vegetation particles, but chemical processes are needed to remove the colour, turbidity, bacteria and other microscopic organisms. So the water leaving the separator is split into two streams for chemical treatment. After the water leaves the separator, a coagulant is added. The coagulant forms gelatinous particles known as flock. These flock particles effectively remove the colour from the water. The amount of foreign matter in the water or turbidity is carefully measured at several points in the process so that improvements can be objectively monitored as the water continues its journey. The water is then split further into four streams, each of which pass through a series of three large flock tanks. Here the water is slowly stirred at a very specific rate to allow the flocculation process to increase the size of the flock particles. The water then enters a tank called a DAF, which stands for Dissolved Air Flotation, where most of the flock is removed. This is the clarification stage. A fraction of water is taken from the main flow and is injected with air under high pressure. This water, saturated with dissolved air, is conveyed through stainless steel pipes to a series of nozzles at the bottom of the DAF tank. On release at the nozzles, dissolved air forms small bubbles which rise to the surface carrying the flocculated material with them. At the surface, the flock covered bubbles form a sludge layer or float which is simply scraped off the top and flushed away into the city sewers. Next, the water passes through dual media filters comprising of anthracite and silica sand to remove any flock particles that may have slipped through the clarification process, leaving good tasting, clear water. However, the water is not ready to enter the distribution network yet. Gaseous chlorine is added under control conditions to kill any remaining bugs and viruses. Chlorine levels are monitored throughout the network system to ensure a chlorine residual is present. This monitoring ensures effective disinfection has been achieved all the way to the customer's tap. Fluoride is also added to the water to prevent tooth decay. Staff fill a bulk hopper. 
This hopper supplies the fluoridator, which adds carefully controlled amounts of fluoride to the water, which is continuously monitored to keep the dose at the right level. If water is too acidic, it can corrode metal pipes in the network, discolouring the water. Eventually, this low pH water can lead to leaks and bursts. To prevent this, lime is added at the end of the process to increase the pH and add alkalinity to a satisfactory value. Lime also adds hardness to the water, but due to our pristine source waters, Dunedin's water is generally soft to moderately hard. The addition of all the chemicals is carefully controlled, measured and recorded at every stage. Alarms are activated if the required parameters are not maintained. Our goal as a water supplier is to protect the health and safety of our community by supplying potable and wholesome drinking water to those within our supply zones. We are required at a minimum to take all practicable steps to comply with the New Zealand drinking water standards. The treated water then passes into two huge storage tanks. These tanks hold enough water to supply Dunedin for 24 hours. We can also pump in extra treated water from the southern water treatment plant if required. The Mount Grand Water Treatment Plant has been substantially redeveloped over many years. Less than 3% of incoming water is wasted, and any waste passes harmlessly into the wastewater system. The Mount Grand staff are proud of their workplace and trust that you'll enjoy your visit. Next time you enjoy a glass of fresh Dunedin water, remember it's long journey from tussock to tap.